Hey, what's good? It's Young Honey. I'm at my parents' house for a few weeks, so we're gonna be doing a couple Let's Plays because I still wanna get some content out there. I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into this bad boy. First, as always, here's some mental health resources. I love y'all. Let's get into it. What it though is Young Honey, and we about to start playing Fallout 3. I, uh, I accidentally skipped the intro. So, we don't have context, we're just a crying baby. I don't know if anything came before that. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? Aw, oh, jeez. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. Do I get to choose my name? Son. You've got a bright future oh, ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about name? What do you think? Fits you yes. Looks like they've finished Eat the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're 69. all grown up. Yes, it does. <coughs> I'd like to be an African American man. We're gonna customize this. You know what? You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just a... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in cardiac James. arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two. I don't know what kind Come of person on. you need. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. You. One we need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations now, and there will be two James and his cheerly chatter. Decorations. May your future look straight in this place. place. We'll feel just like home. A year just later. Something you could use to come here. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be uh, I bit. guess we lost our mom. Uh, did, did I get tricked into a pen? I'm 22 years old. How did this happen? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see.
<laughs> I do, I do. Quite I, I, I don't know you are. Aren't you? That was me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. I wasn't doing nothing. See that? Daddy. It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. Do it. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare. What are we doing? Of course I miss her. I miss her. Surprise! Nine years later. Nine years later. Happy birthday. Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother... Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... You're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Gross! I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I um, guess maybe I should give this to someone else. A date with someone Christine who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. Grognak the Barbarian. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, for you sure, know. Paul. What are you two best friends now? What the fuck are you doing? <clears throat> hey, Paul! Okay. I think Paul's gone soft on us! Nice party. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who do you mean, dork face okay. here? Have I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to I like really you. I really have not played reason. much Fallout ever. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. For some reason, I'm fuck the you. Overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Happy birthday, birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go, a nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. Sweet roll. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Thank you, old lady Palmer. Reset. Having a good time? It wasn't easy keeping the... How do you like that pit boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Stanley.
As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. It's a secret. Now go on. I'm sure oh, no. everyone else would like a chance to talk I to the birthday boy. I am mortified about the cake this happened. Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. Daddy, I told I you not to act all, all official. I know you were joking, but I'm not sure anyone else did. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. You do look hungry. Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. Nice pit Nonsense. Boy. What is that? People always enjoy my Hold still, punk. Besides, that Piece friend of, of yours junk. could use a reminder. to wind it up every Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Uh, Leave your butt, bro. Party, <laughs> you all right? You know? I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? No, oh, just boys being boys. That's fine, son. I'm glad to see you're not letting Butch bully you. He's gonna be a handful in a few years if his mother doesn't take him in hand. Well, Seems no like harm Butch's done then. Mother. Why don't you get back to enjoying your party? Type. Oh, fun. You should try it Enjoy sometime, yourself? Daddy. Might like it. How's it going, pal? What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. You never learn, do you? You can't help shooting your mouth off even when you know it's gonna get you a bloody nose. Uh-oh, your dad is giving me a look. I better let everybody else have a turn with the birthday boy. Bro, she she wants look, you. Butch. I don't think his puny arm is strong enough to do lift that pit boy. Him? I'm Having sure Having fun, I hope. So, never what do you think we should call our game? game? This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party Bro, hats. I wanna shoot these kids in Not the as face. cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. It's gotta now be go on and enjoy yourself. Hey, how about the bolt nice rollers? time? Get it? Thanks for coming, Who Sam? wants to go around all day being called a water Sometimes I think you really are as dumb as you look. Oh, sure, nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. I wasn't. How are you enjoying the party, Mr. I don't know what's new. I help with the decorations, you know. Oh, really? They're lovely. You did such a splendid job. Are you having a Jones? Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. We're all Happy birthday, here. Sonny. Yeah. I got one. Thanks. Hello, I'll send him right down. I'm glad hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Right? I'm glad to be here. I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people, you know. Happy birthday, dearie. <clears throat> My Beatrice, goodness. You're bad. I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change you your impressed? diapers. And now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. My just for poem. you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. As part of my job, I swear. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor. I think you're yanking my chain, Jonas. Jonas? Jonas.
Oh, I see. Now that you're Ted, you're all business. Well then, mister, we'd better get to it. Happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think I hear someone coming. Oh, okay. Are you <clears throat> ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so... I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice Good spot parenting. for you. Follow me. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Jonas? Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Hey, you don't turn 10 every day. Gotta be a nice, now go nice on young and man. Let me see you shoot something. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Oh, shit. Hey, Jonas, up on this picture of me with a big game on him. Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. That's how I smile. Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter. So what? Like I get any kind of special treatment. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. Sixteen. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. The generalized occupational aptitude helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound f Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this sh Come on, it's not so- Take care, son. Okay. I'm gonna reset the game clip. Reset. Good morning. Hey. Good luck with the goat, buddy. Don't smell out, suck on my goat. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that it's bad. Something everybody has to go Just through. something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon. You don't want to be the first class in Good history to on fail the goat. the goat, do you? I like to sit at the front. As 
soon as everyone takes their seats, right, we can get started. Sit the fuck down. Back off. Well, now that everyone is behind <coughs> the classroom, we can get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking Back to off. you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Uh... That one. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. Amputate. What do you do? Yeah. Question three. <laughs> I didn't you even see the a boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry. Kill the and kid? But also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Um. I don't want to miss. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Oh, I know this one. Use a bobby pin. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown Exciting. out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Put this one in God's hands. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? What the fuck are these options? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... <laughs> Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. So, it's not Ass Eater 69. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. But don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Looks like the diner is going to get a new fry cook. I'll just say this once. Hold the mustard, extra pickles. <laughs> Fuck this dude. Ha! <laughs> Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just, just between you. If you don't like the results, I could make your go.
Thanks, Mr. Brotch. I'll see you tomorrow. Anything is possible, even an egg. Daddy, Mr. Stop Brotch. Brotch. He is safe <laughs> now. Is he? Get back to work. Selfish and insubordinate. Look, just wait. Wake you up! Need to know Come on, things. wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you! He's left the vault! I don't know how- It's Jonas! They, they killed, killed Jonas? him! My father's men! They took him and- Oh my god! Yeah, don't worry about me. Uh, but we've got... Not this time. My father... But that doesn't matter. And... Listen. There... Use these to get in... Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. Okay, I'll try to meet... I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there! Crime anymore! Roaches! That's it, that's it! There's more over here! Ah. Stop in the name of the Overseer! Huh. Ah. Get oh. fucked, Officer Kendall. All right. How the fuck? Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. You got to help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Please, I know I've always been a jerk towards you. I know it! But you can't walk away and let her die. Just because I was... Sure, I, I don't care why. Ow, that hurts! But you help me! How, how do I... Ah, stop it! Let me reset the recording real quick. Reset. Please. I was too late. I was too late and Butch's mother died. Oh! 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 No point in her having that anymore. This is the overseer. All residents of Where is Butch? I'll let you gentlemen be. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? No. Okay. Ah, young 
sir. How very good to see you. I have no idea where I'm going. We should just go back to our point. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me, Tom, Tom Holden! Be careful! Hey. Ah. Dirty soda spike leaf. It ain't my problem, man. Y'all, y'all got issues. I told you, I don't know anything. Be reasonable. Officer Matt may enjoy this, but I don't. Just this red. My father wasn't himself. She's I don't know thanking what he me might for have doing it. Along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. <gasps> oh shit! What are you doing? Here I go. Dang old sad tale is all the time. Police officer doesn't mind his business and gets stolen. I don't know what I'm gonna need, Doug. We're making progress. leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... you didn't have to kill him! So you say. Maybe one... I hope you never have to find out what it's like to see your father killed right... No! Don't listen to me! Just... just go! Find your father! I have to go bury mine! No. I can't. Not with you, not now. You'd better leave before I change my mind about letting you go. Uh, feels like I should kill her. Yeah. 
got I'm you not crazy now. enough to go out there. I knew you'd I knew turn you'd... up. You like that, you bastard? Oh! How do I melee? Take some getting used to. Yeah. Exit vault one on one. John Henry Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio. One Voice point. of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Hmm. the Magnificent. This is President Eaton. Hmm. I was hoping we could talk. Be nice Did if I knew know? how to sprint. There are those amongst us. Is that just not a thing? Reset. Care about you. They don't care about America. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Let's take a tally of these agitators, shall we? Welcome, sir or madam. Now, what? Here to buy. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Installation at the Pentagon as their own personal clubhouse. Oh, and don't be dead. fooled, America. Another newcomer. Those who have left Names the Lucas Sims, town sheriff. Friendly and well mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. You would think and that hell, they'd want to get rid of Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Restoring the greatest country in the world to its 
Oh, all right. Fine. If you get the job... Don't need that money. Great. I thought you knew what you were doing. If it's just nerves, maybe some... Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger. Spent some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Sure thing, part. Sure. Okay. You'll probably want to see Moira. Our clinic is. Don't. Yeah. Good. Okay. One of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton. Good to know. To your heart. Associate with men of good quality if you esteem your own reputation. For it is better to be alone than in bad company. I don't think I want to be in here. How the fuck do I get there? Just when I had all... And you, well... Finally, I represent certain interests. You have no connections here, no interest in the cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little... No, no. I... The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town... I have in my possession a fusion. Is that the best? Sims is an idiot. He. Is that the best? You mean, besides to. Why? You'd be rewarded most handsomely. Oh. I see. Our intrepid leaders had I told you, God, it ain't the radio. I, well, I low-key may want to blow them up. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Come rest assured. Hey, Smootskin. Haven't you ever... Well, not all of us got the chance to hold up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast Jeez. of heat radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend. Still. Oh yeah. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. 
But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Sorry, smooth skin. Damn, Can't okay. take the risk. Mar What do I do? Back again. Excellent. I had a f when it's done. Lack the aptitude, you mean? You're not re. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler few. I assure you, they- Ah, oh, jeez. Don't- Okay. I can't find Moriarty. So it feels like there's only one logical thing to do, right? Each of us hey there. shall give birth to a million stars. From the this is President Eden, and you're listening to hey Encrave Radio, the voice of America. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Well, God... Damn it. Who told you I... I'm just gonna try to speed. Okay. Yeah. Hello? What did I. T well, Moriarty thinks. Look, keep your bullshit. watching if you like this kind of content please like subscribe leave a comment let me know if you got any let's play recommendations for the future i would really love to continue doing this kind of stuff i have a ton of fun with it so yeah i'll see y'all in the next one